Okay, so this is a Suzuki Grand Vitara 2008 model. So if you want to get to the fuses, there are three screws here. One, two, three. We also have the brake assist bullshit on. So once you've taken those screws out, let's pull this thing off. This is the worst car I've ever had to replace a fuse in. The people who made these are absolute morons. It's all the way up in there. All right, you can hardly see it. You'd have to be like maybe uh, a garden gnome to get in here. As you can see where they are, they're right back there. You know, didn't think about this very well. Whoever designed this, you know, so that's where they are. If you're looking for the fuses for like uh, rear lights and solar, what is it, uh, sunroof, sorry, and uh, other bits and pieces. So it's down the back there. It's just behind this panel because you may pull it off and go, oh, shit, it's not here. But it is. It's just some retard. Let's put it right where you can't get it because they don't think of these things and they make their car. Okay, so while up in here, you have to put the seat back to get in. If this was Jeff, it'd be very difficult because he has massive shoulders. And the fuse is about up here. It's uh, for the rear. It's up there. It's the 10, 10 amp up there. Actually, no, it's this one here. Pretty much right here. All the rest are good. And it's these fuses here. Not these fuses. I have both because the Nissan Navara takes these fuses. Suzuki takes these fuses. Now we're going to go back and change the light globes. So the Suzuki pretty much takes a, uh, a T20 globe. It's um, a dual globe, so it'll do the brake lights and the parkers. So you may have that issue where your brake lights still work, but your parkers are gone. If you're driving a trailer, it's going to be a problem, so you're going to have to replace them. So that's what the blown one looks like. I had to pull it out so I could go get the globes. There's a screw here. Sorry, uh, it's a 10, 10 mil head, but it also has a Phillips head on it, so I prefer to use a socket on it. Two. And you can buy a special hardened plastic jemmy bar so it won't damage paint but I'll just use this okay that takes the globe out and it takes the actual light out take the globe out and just rest that up there So you just grab your globe and then you just insert it pretty much the bayonet into the socket. All right. And then once you put it in, it'll be written there for you. Lock, turn clockwise. And it's pretty pretty easy to work it out once you got all that on. So I'm just gonna pop that in for you. Put it together, check that the parkers work, parkers work, the brakes work, and then you can pop it in and go from there because you don't want to put it all back together and then put the light back in and then go and it doesn't work. So check it first, saves you mucking around later. Okay, so you've got the globe that's working, just pop it in. Turn it, lock it in position, then line up. I might just show you. There's two V's here. 
and where they go. So main thing is to line these up first, then push it in. So you just line one up with the other. Make sure everything's in position properly. There it is, a little bit of jigging around. I don't want to break it because my wife will kill me. It's her car. It's already had a dent. Some dude hit it in the car park. Thanks, mate. Whoever you are, you're a wanker. Okay, so that's a dual filament globe. That's what they look like when they're blown. It's pretty much it. And this is what you buy if you have a similar globe system, dual filament, this is what you need, just be careful, you can still, you know, mess things up, so that's all back in, that's a 10 mil, same, I just use a socket, but you know, if you don't and you're stuck, you can use the Phillips, it's just there, so that's done, this is pretty much the same, it's actually easier on this side, I don't know why, it was easier for me. And now we're just going back in here and uh, turning everything on. Once you're in here, this is inbuilt into the system, so you can just pull it out and use it to pull your fuses out. So that's all you'll be using, it's the easiest way. And like I said, it's all the way up in there. Okay, so it's not the first right hand bottom fuse it's the second one above it so it's uh the one above the yellow one and below the white one it looks like so you work it out just um just look it up i'll put a a image of the diagram and then you just uh start pulling them out because it's a, usually a 10 amp one so there's only what is it two four five maybe six and then they got some spares in there